in this video we're going to do a basic introduction to resistors. I'm not going to do anything on a breadboard like I normally do. We're just going to look at this diagram where I did the calculations. The main thing is resistors have the basic electrical property that the current that's going to flow through them in amps is the voltage across them divided by their resistance in ohms. So that's voltage in volts. While doing so though they heat up. So you have to be aware of that. So that's the voltage across them times the current going through them. So first you calculate this, then you can calculate that to get the wattage. Quarter watt is usually the rated value of resistors, but still you want to keep the uh, power dissipation, the wattage, about half of their rated value. So about an eighth of a watt. One fourth of a watt is 0.25 watts and one eighth of a watt is 0.125 watts, which I kept below. Uh, that number in all of these calculations So now 1000 ohms 1000 ohm resistor. There's the color code for these blue ones that have five total stripes We got 1% at the end there, so it can be 1% higher or lower That's what you can expect and the cheap ones that I got sometimes I think they even fall out of that range But in case 1000 ohms has a nice property for each volt across the resistor You're gonna get one milliamp of current flowing through it pretty easily and uh, pretty easy and then it keeps the wattage down low too so if you got somewhat higher voltage then that resistance works but you're limited at the current you can get so either you need a higher wattage resistor to get more current or you could put resistors in parallel and stuff there's a number of options but we're just going to keep this simple for this video looking at one resistor now if you're dealing with 12 volts and you have an LED the LED is going to drop about 2 volts from the power supply so you'll ultimately end up with about 10 across the resistor. That's what will set the current. There you have 10 milliamps of current. So this resistor will work well for protecting an LED from 12 volts, but the current won't be as high. We'll look at the lower value resistors. So now 100 ohm resistor. There you can see the current. You get 10 times the current for a certain voltage. The uh, problem here though is if you have a 5 volt supply and LED that drops 2 volts, you'll have 3 volts across the resistor, you're going to be about 30 milliamps of current, which is too much for the LED. And uh, so that's why I use a slightly higher value resistor, we'll come to that. But in case, if you did have a 4 volt power supply, then you'll probably have about 2 across the resistor, 2 across the LED, and about 20 milliamps. The resistor is not going to get very hot either. So at uh, low voltages, uh, low value resistors are great. But uh, normally voltage is higher than 4 volts. Usually it's at least 5. And uh, for an LED, odds are that's going to be too much current. And that brings us to the 220 ohm resistor. Next higher value resistor. And with 5 volts across it, that's what I mostly work with these days. And I think the vast majority of people. You have 22.7 milliamps of current going through it. And it's not going to overheat. So that's a little more than you want through an LED. But the LED is going to drop about 2 volts. So you'll end up with about 3 volts across the uh, resistor for a red LED and uh, you'll drop uh, 3 volts. You only have 2 volts across the resistor for a green LED and so, but they get brighter. And uh, so in any case, you got that lower voltage and there's still plenty of current to light the LEDs. Uh, really bright right there. It's probably going to be close to about their maximum brightness anyways. And uh, the resistor doesn't get very hot. So that's a nice value for protecting an LED from 5 volts total. And finally we come to the 470 ohm resistor which I used to use a lot when I was using a 9 volt power supply. So we got 7 here but usually I had the LED in series again and uh, the LED was dropping 2 of those 9 volts. We ended up with about 15 milliamps of current. The resistor didn't uh, get uh, terribly warm and the LED was sufficiently bright without risking burning it out sooner. So that worked well for 9 volts and uh, there's the numbers for uh, lower voltages across the resistor. But uh, really, we kind of covered this current limiting resistor enough for this video. So, hope you enjoyed. Helps you understand more why certain values are used in uh, certain circuits. And uh, helps you understand circuits better. Make sure you check out one of the other videos I'm posting. Click like, subscribe, the bell, all that. Donate to Patreon if you can. That helps out the most. I have links down in the description. But just watching videos helps out a ton. Thanks for that. I'll see you in the next video.